Hello friends, so I don't actually think I've ever started a vlog in a car. So here we are, I'm with this guy. Hi, we're in a Hi, car. Uh, we are in a car, <laughs> we're in Ant's car. And we are driving from Surrey to Hampshire for our first staycation in 2021. And I am so excited guys for us to just stay overnight in a house that tree is house. not our own. A tree house, I haven't said that yet, a tree house. So we're staying in a gorgeous little tree house in Hampshire. And I thought for this week's vlog, I could take you with us and show you what we get up to. Now the weather says it's gonna rain basically all weekend, but I am just in denial, okay? And the sun's gonna come out. So let's get ourselves to Hampshire. <laughs> and here it is, our tree house the fallow tree house. Let's have a look. Here we go. Welcome. Welcome to our little tree house cabin extravaganza. This is amazing, isn't it? Literally just walked in, but I thought oh. I'll do a first impressions tour. So we have a little kitchenette here, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna to go to the supermarket tonight and pick up some bits and bobs to cook while we're here. And then over here we have a little a lounge. I am obsessed with this decor, like the rustic cabin life vibe. I'm here for it. Of course we have the log burner and wants it to get cold tonight so he can burn logs. We have a little balcony here, which I'll take you out on later, I'm sure. We have a barbecue and some little benches with a gorgeous view overlooking a vineyard. Guys, I'm obsessed. And then they've left us a little hamper full of local goodies. And what else do we have? Is this a bathroom? <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Oh. What is it? <gasps> yeah. The outdoor tub! Oh yeah. The So we have this beautiful blue bathroom, and then guys, oh, this is what sold this tree house to us. Let me show you. So we have this incredible outdoor tub with the most unbelievable view over the vineyard, and Ant is underneath an outdoor shower. I'm blown away. And last but not least, we have this stunning bedroom with floor to ceiling windows overlooking the vineyard again. Wow, yeah. How amazing is that? That's awesome. I cannot wait to wake up here tomorrow. So one last overview of the tree house. We have our little kitchenette. We have our lounge area with the balcony and it's all open plan onto the bedroom with that stunning view. Guys, this place is just incredible. I am absolutely blown away by how incredible this tree house is. It's completely surpassed my expectations. I'm shook. I'm actually shook. And if you want to find out more about this accommodation that we're staying in, I will leave all the information down below. I found it through Canopy and Stars. And just a disclaimer, this is a gifted press stay. I work with Canopy and Stars pretty much every year. I've got a lovely relationship with those guys and I love their properties and what they do. They kind of encourage you to get outdoors and connect with nature through their accommodation, but I'm under no obligation to include this in a vlog. I just wanted to vlog this weekend because I'm so excited to be on a staycation and I wanted to share this with you. So yeah, all the information will be down below. And honestly, I don't care if it pees with rain all weekend now. Now that I've seen this tree house, I don't care if I get trapped inside, I'll happily just snuggle up and enjoy this beautiful space. We've come to Andover. Yeah, having a little look around. And what's our mission? Uh, get a takeaway for tonight. Get a little cheeky takeaway. Tonight. Thought we'll try out the local cuisine tonight. Local cuisine? I thought we would get a Chinese, babe. <laughs> Just trying to kid ourselves and assess our options, but we already know where we're going. Yeah, let's be honest. Well, let's see, let's see. We might find something else. Yeah, it's quite cute, though, this little road. Cute little town, a town called Andover. So we thought we knew what we were going to get. But pizza is now on the menu. Yeah, we saw this Pizza Express and um, we're getting pizza. We're gonna get pizza. <laughs> I did have pizza for lunch literally yesterday. I don't care, babe. Yeah, I know. Can't pizza get all day, pizza. every day. Yeah, and Let's they do this. And they do these amazing dough balls. We do love dough balls. I mean, who doesn't know what Pizza Express dough balls are all about? Food shop and pizza in hand, and we're back at our little treehouse. 
So Ant got the margarita and I got the vegan meze with added vegan cheese. And of course, we got all the dough balls. 16 dough balls, guys, and I guarantee there won't be a single one left. Ooh, it is thin and crispy. Mm. Bath time, is it? It is. I had to take advantage of the first night because it's forecast to rain. I don't know if I've mentioned that already in this vlog, but <laughs> it is forecast to rain for the rest of the weekend, so it might be the last chance I get to see some blue skies in the tub. So I've got myself a little G and T, and I'm enjoying the view. Why are you wearing a swimsuit in the bath? Because then you can't see my nipples, Anthony. Oh, oh right, fine. People can't be seeing okay. my nipples, okay? I'm getting in naked. Just oh, for clarity. Oh, great, great. <laughs> There's room for me in there, right? This thing is huge. This thing is so big, we could fit like six of me in it, which is saying something, so. <laughs> nice. Look at the view. Look at the view. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? We've just noticed some deers deer. frolicking. Yeah, we've been watching the deer frolicking for the past five minutes. They're just doing circles. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're There's coming one. back. There's one of them. Can you see it? Yeah. Where are the others gone? Where's your friends? Oh, he's turning around, running back. Oh, another oh. one's come out. <laughs> they're just having fun. Look, there's another two. I genuinely think they're just frolicking. They're just running around in the fields together. They're jumping over hedges. It's so beautiful, babe. Oh, it's definitely raining. Definitely raining. Can you hear that? On the roof. It's hard not to hear it. Good morning, world. Oh, it's a good thing we're not going on a long hike today. I know. We need all our wet gear. I do like days like this, though. Cozy days. Nice cozy days in, yeah. Can we put the coffee pot on, babe? Yeah, Make good idea. Coffee. These are my England shorts. So I support England every time we go to sleep. My country. My club and country. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is your morning coffee. Oh, you're a gem. With your flav drops. Thank you, babe. Always. Take flav drops everywhere. Cheers. 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 Morning. Morning. So, it's actually 10 a.m., and right now we should technically be in the queue to enter some gardens that I booked us some tickets for. But honestly, guys, the weather. I'm looking outside, it is very wet and it is very windy. Yeah, I don't think it'd be that much fun and if we went, we'd just be forcing ourselves. So we're gonna, hopefully, the weather forecast man says that the rain should ease off a little bit from around midday. Mm. So we're hoping we can go and see some gardens or something locally this afternoon. But for now, we figured we'd watch Line of Duty in bed. Who is the weather forecast man? It's the guy on the Google interwebs. James? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, we are on season two, two, episode two, episode two. I know we're new to it, but we're influenced by our friends Tally and Jack. Tally put it on her stories saying that like, it's the best series ever. So we're finally watching it. I know we're behind the curve. I know we're late to the party. But we're watching it now. Please, no spoilers because we are loving it. Yeah. We are it's loving good. it. It's good. It's we good. Love, we love it. We love it. See you in a bit. We'll let you know what we think of episode two, season two. Do your ugliest face. Why? <laughs> Why are you so bad? Anne is so bad at doing ugly faces. Okay, that's quite good. That's quite a good ugly face. Give me your maximum double chins. You're not very good at double chins, are you? Oh, cramp. <laughs> oh. I have so many double chins. I'm quite good at Jesus. this. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, strumming on like a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the third victim's name has been withheld from the public because she was from witness protection. Putting up a newly formed unit that's taken over the search for Carly. So, it is still... Very, very windy yeah not so wet just not really raining anymore but the wind is like gale force vibes isn't it sideways <laughs> it's literally crazy but we have watched a few episodes of line of duty we kind mm. of feel like maybe we should leave the house 
We should do something, We should probably yeah. do something today. So yeah. we're going to head out, try and find some lunch. We are booked into some gardens for this afternoon. And... We should probably do that. We should probably do that. So yeah. shall we go do that? Yeah. Let's go do that. It's really windy outside. <laughs> I, think, I think they know that now. Gale force. Oh god. Gale force wins. <laughs> anyway, what do you think about my outfit? Can you show them my outfit? Can you show them my outfit? My bougie outfit. Nice. So this is what I like to call my bougie country bish. Bougie country bish outfit. Yeah. My bougie country bish. Because I've got my bougie boots, my bougie jacket, my bougie bag, my bougie gilet. I'm just feeling really bougie. Okay. Do I look bougie? You look bougie, yeah. Goal achieved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go outside and get windswept. Oh God. Can you guys hear that wind? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Here we go. Woo! So we've just arrived at Longstock Water Garden. We have, and this is on the Leckford Estate, which I think has got something to do with the origins of John Lewis and Waitrose. Now, I don't know the facts, I'll probably find out the facts today. But yeah, it's got something to do with the start of John Lewis and Waitrose. So, cool. we've made it, and there's one other car in the car park, so I don't think it's going to be that busy. <laughs> I think because of the weather, there's not many people here, but mm. hopefully we'll have the gardens basically to ourselves. Yeah, let's go so, have a look. Let's go have a little gander. This is a really nice car park that we're in right now. It is a nice car park. It is. It it's is. not tarmac, it's grass. It's just grass. Very posh. Bougie. Okay, let's go. You having a good bougie day? You having a bougie day? I feel very bougie. Okay, let's go and go to a bougie farm shop and see what bougie bits we can find. Yay! Okay, let's go. Here we go. So... We bought tickets for today, but it's locked and it's closed. It's locked. It's locked and it's closed. Is there maybe another entrance? Should we go to the main farm shop and see if we can get in that way? Yeah, let's go and have a look. Oh dear, there oh dear. There's nobody in the shed, babe. <laughs> Hello? Anthony! <laughs> Alright, take two, let's try the farm shop, yeah? On the plus side, it's not so windy. Over here. Yeah, it's not as windy around here. But look how nice this car park is. Oh god, here we go. Look how bloody nice this car park is. It is a very nice car park, I'll give you that. Nice tree. More trees. More trees. Look how nice the trees are. Really nice trees. Success. A lady in the farm shop told us that somebody will come and let us into the gardens. Yeah. So we're going to head back. We're going to go back and find this guy. His name's Doug and he'll come and collect us at 1.30 on the, on the dot. Who's Doug? I don't know, maybe he was in the shed. Maybe he was in the shed. <laughs> Nobody mentioned the name Doug. You literally live in your own little world, don't you? Douglas. <laughs> How you doing? You all right? You enjoy your grass? Sitting down. <gasps> Hello. Yeah, having a little rub, rub a dub. We're going to go see the gardens now, so... We'll catch up with you later, yeah? Yeah. See you, Sean. Enjoy your, enjoy your rub on the fence. <laughs> it's cute, babe. Look at him. It's cute. He's a very cute sheep. Yeah. We're in! We're in. We're in the gardens. So we are in Longstock Water Gardens. Oh, it's quite Water wet. Watery and squelchy. Yeah, <laughs> underfoot. And yeah, we're just going to explore. This was recommended because it's right next to the Leckford Farm Estate. Um, it is very nice here. It's actually beautiful. And it's not raining and it's not windy. It's so. spitting. It's spitting, but... And there's no wind. So. But we do have the umbrella just in case. It's beautiful. Look at all these beautiful camellia bushes and all the petals on the floor. You know what, they do smell good. Yeah. They smell bloody fantastic. Guys, I know rhododendrons are an invasive species, but you can't deny that they're beautiful. Like, they are just so stunning. <laughs> so we're currently doing our second lap of the garden. This is our victory lap. Because you did one lap and then Ant said to me, oh, 
babe, should we do a second lap? And I went, yeah, I'm well up for that. And then you said that... I was joking. You were joking. I was joking. But I wasn't We've seen joking. everything already. I wasn't joking, so now we're doing a second lap. <laughs> I just love gardens, okay? So, we're in the car, in the car park, we're about to eat our lunch, and we both got jacket potatoes with beans. So that's the agenda, isn't it, babe? That is the agenda. You happy? Yeah, my, although my jacket potato is quite a solid jacket potato. I'm not gonna lie, mine feels a little bit like a rock. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. So yeah, we're having our lunch in the car because there's... There is seating outside, but it's not heated and it's not covered. And it's raining. And it's raining. So yeah, we're gonna have, gonna have our lunch in the car. You got a problem with that? No, I'm feeling very happy about it, in fact. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm just happy to eat. So we have come to another garden. This is Halton Lodge Park Garden, I think it's called. Something like that. I'll put it on screen what it's called. I just putting the umbrella over me. Put it over you as well. And then um, we are just going to do a little quick walk around because it closes in half an hour. But we want to have wedding. a little look. I don't know if we're wedding in this weather, but I'm sure they'll still have a lovely day. So yeah, we're just going to have a quick dash around and have a look yeah. at the lovely flowers. Yeah, you don't sound very excited. I'm excited, I'm ecstatic. Are you? Yeah. Good. He's lying, you're lying, because you don't like gardens as much as me. Guys, the villages are so beautiful around here. They've got loads of little thatched cottages. Let me see if I can show you some. Just going past one there. Look, oh my goodness, so pretty. Beams and thatching. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Thatch cottage after thatch cottage. So gorgeous, so cute, so quaint. So we are back at the tree house and Aunt is gonna fire up the log burner, aren't you? Yeah, there's some heat in here. It's a bit chilly. So now that Ant has made his fire. Our fire. Our fire. We're gonna chill out for the rest of the day. It is coming up to 4 p.m. And yeah. Probably squeezing on the two episodes of Line of Duty. Minimum two. I wanna finish the whole second series today. Are you up to it? I'm there. All right, let's okay. do it. <laughs> so we'll probably see you guys tomorrow. The rest of our day is just gonna be binge watching Line of Duty and making some dinner. Just like cozying up in our little tree house. Yeah. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit better tomorrow and we can do more activities and we'll take you with us. Mm. So we'll see you then. Good night. Hello, good morning. Day two in Hampshire. Yeah. Our final day in Hampshire. We leave this afternoon, but thankfully the weather is better today. I mean, it's, it's wind dry. windy and grey, but it's dry. It's dry and there's no rain so far. So. We're gonna head into Stockbridge, which is probably the number one recommendation in this local area that everybody's been giving me. Go to Stockbridge High Street, go to Coffee Lab Coffee Shop and get a coffee. And I'm excited about it and I checked and it's open. So, nice. should we go? That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna to go to like a National Trust property called Mottisfont. Nice. So that's the plan. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Cool. I'm also wearing my bougie country beesh outfit again today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you wearing? Just jeans and t-shirt. <laughs> I bought him this t-shirt. Oh, so nice, so nice, so nice. <laughs> I normally wear branded t-shirts, but this one is branded. And you're wearing it. And I'm wearing it. <laughs> we have made it to Stockbridge High Street. Bear in mind, it's a Sunday morning at 9 a.m. So there's basically nobody here, but we're gonna get a coffee from this coffee spot just here called the Coffee Lab. This spot is so highly recommended. So I'm excited to see what they serve. So this is what we've got so far. We've come outside and I've got an oat milk latte and it's got an oat milk Americano. You also got a flapjack to share and we just ordered a little croissant, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Why I hope not? It's a big croissant. Yeah, hopefully it's a big beastie one. <laughs> good coffee. Such good coffee. And check this out. Right by a little stream. Oh, gorgeous. Ant is obsessed with running water. How cool is that? So we have made it to Mottisfont. It is 10am. I think we're the first people going in of the day. 
Typical, yeah. typical us. Keen beans. Two minutes early. So we're gonna go, <laughs> of course we're early. <laughs> we're gonna go in. I have no idea about this place or anything about it, but I'll show you around. It looks very beautiful. So let's get cracking. Let's get crack a Yeah, yeah. Okay, we've just come in and found the map. And this looks pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. I am very excited to explore. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Do you like it? That is incredible, isn't it? Literally stunning. So much more amazing than I anticipated. Bonus points for coming when it opens at 10 a.m., guys, because we've basically got the whole place to ourselves. There's nobody else here. Early bird catches the worm, hey, babe? That's what they say. That's what they say, and it's the truth. Wisteria goals. Absolute wisteria goals. Does it smell good? Oh, yeah, strong smell. Really? Oh, hello, bumblebee. I can hear you. Oh, there's a bumblebee just there. Oh, that smells like heaven. Mmm. It just keeps getting better and better. This walled garden is so lush. Oh my goodness. I never thought I'd be the sort of person who got so excited about a walled garden, but here we are and I'm excited. Are you excited? It's enjoyable to look at, yeah. I feel like, guys, I'm slowly working on him. I'm slowly working on you. Give me a few more years and he'll be excited about walled gardens. Yeah? <laughs> Not just lady gardens. Oh! Thank you. What time is it? It's not 2pm. 2 2. It's 11am. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your theory didn't work, did it? Guys, I love that place. Did you love it? Yeah, it was awesome. Like, Very amazing. Cool. Amazing, amazing, amazing. If you're in the area, that's probably my favorite thing that we've seen here. This and the water gardens from yesterday. But this, I think, was a little bit better. It was just so beautiful. You know what, you can't beat a good old fashioned, like, English country estate, country home thing. Do you know what I mean? You just can't beat it. Just love it. Lovely grounds, lovely gardens. They had a lot of respect for nature. They had a lot of wildflowers and areas of wildflower meadows, which I definitely appreciated. So just really great. And also a lovely gift shop. Did buy some bits in the gift shop, didn't we, babe? Yeah, we did. We did, because we couldn't resist. So yeah, amazing, amazing. Now I'm just going to go back to Stockbridge and grab some lunch at the spot that we got Brecky because we saw their brunch menu and it looked banging. So this is the menu at the wood fire coffee lab spot and I have gone for avocado on toast with vegan sausage and you went for the same didn't you? Yeah you copied me. Oi you, copy cop you. You, copied you copied me. me. I'm the trendsetter here. Yeah that's right. Well, Boop. And here we go avocado toast with vegan sausages made into a sarni. Guys it's getting really warm. It's like 20 degrees and I'm wearing all my layers. But anyway this yellow beautiful flower is oil seed rape and you use it to make rapeseed oil to cook with. My mum's favourite oil. This is my mum's favourite oil. So it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it looks nice, it looks pretty. It does. What are you saying? Zana's about? telling me that these nettles with white flowers aren't stinging. Yeah. Like literally look. Just pulling it, touching it. Stroking it. They don't sting you. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. I didn't know that. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Fun fact. Fun fact. Bye bye, treehouse. Bye bye, the fellow. She's like, I don't miss you. So, I think we should probably end the vlog here. We just got home, gave Bella all of our cuddles and all of our love. Don't worry, we had somebody looking after her for the weekend. So, she was fine. You got lots of affection and love, didn't you, Bella? She's like, yeah, I don't need you. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we missed her way more than she missed us. A hundred percent. But anyway, I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed with Hampshire. 
It was really like, good. Wasn't it such a beautiful place? I just like, wish that my ankle was better so we could have done a bit of hiking. Walks. Yeah. But you know what? I'm kind of glad that it was rainy and you had a poorly ankle so we could, we could just snuggle up and do like Netflix yeah. and chill. You know? Yeah. It was True. really nice. True. It was really nice. So we had a lovely time. Hampshire is a gorgeous place and I would love to go back in the future and explore more because yeah, all the fat cottages it was just so adorable mm. so 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 adorable so if you guys enjoyed today's vlog please give it a cheeky thumbs up and we'll see you guys super soon see Bye. you guys